excited to have the Robert Calvo project at the Miramar Library. Um, he has a layered meaning to his artwork and he uses celestial imagery. Well, Robert Calvo is a world-class artist from uh, Portland, Oregon, and um, we're very fortunate to have been able to commission him for this wonderful project. <laughs> First, I think you're a little surprised by the artwork. You think it's an index uh, of something in the library. And then you start to look at it and see that he actually has images of books that uh, raise off the surface in gold leaf and uh, all kinds of celestial images throughout. And then you begin to understand that it's not any sort of index, but a beautiful work of art. It's a basic uh, sort of diagram of the um way information is organized. But there's, there's usually always religion, literature, the arts, sciences. Robert created this mural to show the interconnectedness, the community of the library, also the community of the city of Miramar, um, the region, and then he connected it to the larger galaxy and uh, doing that through the medium of information which is something that uh, connects us all. When you first look at it, you see something and then you look at it some more and you see something else and as you go through the piece, you start discovering a little more and a little more. So there's a multitude of layers and I find that so fascinating in the piece. The numbers represent where you can go in the library to find um, these sections of readings, such as technology and history, fine arts, literature. So it's kind of like a map for reading. I like it. A Dewey Decimal System of Classification is still used by many libraries today to classify information. People can uh, access any of these areas by going to the numbers that you see represented. Well, some of the benefits of having public art in our community include that it provides a sense of place, uh, beautiful artworks that you won't find in any other community. They're also, they represent the mission of the agency. It's very site specific, of course. I'm hoping people will spend time with it and realize that it's about the connection between the library and all the information here and the larger community. It's just an incredible resource. You know, if you want to learn something about the world or about space, it's right at your fingertips. You can just look at that and just really get a, a detailed information about, about uh, Florida, about um, language, about various places in the world. It's from the very inception of the design of this project, the artist met with the team and they decided that the lobby would be the best location. And it's just wonderful. I see people walking in and they look at this piece. And it's almost like welcoming people to the library. This is original artwork by a nationally, or rather internationally known artist. Robert Calvo is amazing. He has designed pieces all over the world, so we're so delighted to have his work here. He was very in tune to the community in Miramar. He did some uh, outreach meetings, listened very carefully to what people were, were telling him, and then he interpreted their thoughts in the artwork that you see at the library today. We try to connect a lot of more universal imagery with things that are more regional, like pictures, photographs of Miramar. He wanted to show the interconnectedness between the various levels of the community, from the um, micro to the macro, from the um, community of the library and the city, through the region, 
and to the galaxies. The books are um, symbols of the treasure of the library in a sort of uh, antique or classical sense. But at the same time, you have all of the digital information that's available now. To give three-dimensionality to the piece, he took actual books. These are real books. He put some uh, glue on it or some sort of technique and then covered it in gold leaf. So this is just so original and beautiful, just really exquisite work. And they appear to float, uh, almost as if they're stars floating in the night sky. It makes it look like a treasure which is what the library has in the books. Broward Cultural Division encourages all of the commissioned artists to uh, come to the community where their project is going to be placed. And so Robert spent considerable time in Miramar and he was impressed by the landscape and what was to him the unique plant material and immense trees. Look at all the drawings, took the pictures. Did you tell Florida clouds? <laughs> yeah, I love Florida clouds, actually. You recognize the street? It's like a main artery right here. It just symbolized neighborhood. The geography of the city of Miramar, which is very long, he was able to celebrate that also, just in the configuration of this mural, which spans out almost 20 feet along this great wall in the lobby. Uh, there's a, a lot of knowledge to be gained by looking at his artwork because you're learning about all the various um, aspects of our civilization. I wish that everyone comes through here, through this lobby, gets a little bit of the joy that I get. And I think, I think they do.